Yamasobi have a new song already? It feels like only a couple of days ago that I was reviewing their most recent single that I was aware of coming out. And I really just, I enjoyed that. I compared it a lot to um, how I felt it had similarities to Idol, but it felt like it was taking us into a much more concise and well-packaged version of that. Um, and I was really as well surprised because I was saying in that video how I wanted to go further on my Yamasobi journey. And a lot of you guys got into the uh, comments as well. There's a lot of people who watched that video. And so it really sort of inspired me to watch more of them. I've been uh, a fan of Lila Sakuta, especially after hearing the music she did with Anno and then checking out some of her solo stuff and really enjoying that. So yeah, I wanted to follow it back a little bit to your Sobi and obviously where the real apex of her fame so far has been achieved. Uh, thus, I was so impressed with the most recent song, Undead. And here we go, we've got a song called Monotone already come out. Uh, I don't know, are they just like fast tracking singles for a new album? I mean, I've got nothing against that. You know, usually bands will like leave singles so far spread out that you end up like waiting for an album for a year and a half. Band made them looking at you. Um, so in this particular case, it's like, maybe it's that, maybe this is just another theme from the same anime. Maybe they've done an opening close theme. I don't know, I'm not very well versed on anime. I just live in Japan. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to check this out. I'm very excited to check this out. Quick thing, I will say before, apologies about this, but I just wanted to mention because not enough people know about this, the fact that I have got a new single come out. This song was written by me, produced by me, with two of my favourite up to the eyes. And Aston from Castella Park. It is available. The link to that will also be in the description below. And if you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate you go checking it out. We spent so much time and effort putting that together, so please do enjoy that. But for now, we're going to jump in with a little bit of the new Yosabi song, Monotone. Let's go. Right, starting funky. Very atmospheric. I wonder where it's going to go, though. I was expecting it to go double time there for some reason. Very dramatic, isn't it? There we go. It just feels like this is the natural pace of the song. It's a much more understated affair, but I'm loving the details. And... Oh, that was cool. I want that big synth to come around again. Oh, that's cool. That's old school, but it's cool. I love the sharpness to the mix. You can really make out all the little, tiny, little, sharp details. Yeah, I'm sure the visuals are connected to something, but I, I, I don't get it, but it looks good. <laughs> That's quite creepy. Like that, that synth trumpet sound. So those, those little sounds that in isolation would sound tacky and old school, but you put them together with a good arrangement. You get this. It's 
see, I said it was much more stripped back. But what there is in here still sounds very full. I don't know what is going on with that little fluff ball. That, that was really cool. Okay, um, let's leave some credits on the screen for a moment then because that's, um, again, fantastically put together stuff. I'm also really going to say, although I'm not, um, I, I'm not, I never really followed anime, but, you know, it was something that I took up a little bit more with Bocce the Rock, and I've watched a few other, I loved Niche and stuff like that. Um, it just never was really something that I really sort of fell into, despite sort of coming to Japan and falling in love with Japanese music. But I do have a massive appreciation for when you just see the amazing artistic creativity. So even before we talk about the song, I've got to say, uh, I loved how the video for the last song was so creative, and this one as well. Some similar beats with, you know, the kind of the montage of things rolling past the screen, and you sort of seeing scenes assumedly from an anime or something like that and the theme of having a creature in the background I think someone said with the last one that the creature was like a representation of someone's psychological thing so maybe this is an extension of that and it's the same and I don't know but look I just got to say really like the visuals first of all when it comes to the song um I've always sort of pointed this out one of my great uh loves for any artist you know I, I love artists who can just sort of you know very good in a certain genre but there's also something amazing about an artist who knows how to do different sounds different styles songs that are genuinely unique and have a very different feel from each other and yet at the same time you can still identify listen to it and hear certain core qualities where you go that's them um you know and in the case of Yasabi one of the biggest differences between Yasabi and Lidas' uh, solo work is the fact that you can uh, you have this sort of sharp and slightly produced quality to her voice which you know I'm glad that we have the other side of her on her solo work but in the case of the Yasobi arrangements it works so nicely you know she she still has the natural feel of a voice that sort of human quality well she is human but <laughs> the, the very human delivery that she so well conveys in her voice but it's balanced alongside this very sort of sharp digital sound and especially like I say a lot of the sounds in Yasobi's music I really like I've always been a fan of artists who use those kind of very sharp sort of Maybe a little bit of staccato sounds here and there, you know, sounds that are just very quick in and out, you know, blasts of notes and things like that. And very sort of sharp beats, you know, very bright sounding music because that's where you get so much detail. And I love detailed sounds. And this, again, this is a song that's going for a sort of a modest, chilled feel. And yet there is this bright, detailed uh, underpinning to it all. You know, it feels like a song that is not just sort of lazily um, trumping away through a, like, a, oh, here's a good melody and uh, a very relaxing, minimalist beat. It's like, no, it starts off minimalist and then it just feels in the details really nice. I see it never feels overbearing it just sort of does that until you've got this full really beautiful soundscape by the end and all those little arpeggios you know where the notes are quickly got sort of going up and down scales <laughs> I love to do the vocal representations of instruments. Uh, it's doing a lot of that. Um, absolutely brilliant. I, I personally really uh, enjoyed that. Is it as much of a winner to me as Undead? No, I've I got to be honest. I'm always going to go for I, I've got a thing for the hyper songs. The songs where it's like, ah, everything's just sort of like bouncing alive with craziness. I love that. But this is a wonderful companion piece. It's um, a song that in style maybe doesn't um, automatically get me as immediately excited. And yet I feel just as much appreciation. I feel like this is a song that I would also very much enjoy coming back and listening to, especially hearing them both together on an album would just be brilliant. So guys, again, I am kind of familiar with a lot of things about Yosabi. I have seen them live, as I've pointed out, which was just ironic, but I got to see them live before I really had the chance to appreciate it. But I remember seeing them live was actually one of the things that really sold me on them because I started hearing songs I hadn't heard before going, wow, I like a lot of this. Um, so, you know, I, I am definitely interested to hear more about this group and follow your lead if you want to uh, tell me more things I should follow. But yeah, Yasabi, new song, Monotone. Really enjoy it. Um, I will say again, do remember, I've got a new song too. You work so hard on this. You've got a lot of energy. So, you can see that for one hour. Hey, I'm always giving opinions on other people's music. So go on there, give an opinion on ours. Obviously, young, unsigned artist working with poor old me. So, Give them a little bit of support. Hopefully, if you enjoy it, that'll be really great. But I definitely enjoyed this. I'll definitely be checking out more of your so be as always, we're always honest on this channel. I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. I wouldn't follow it if I wasn't interested. There are some very popular bands out there right now who are getting many, many thousands of views on reactions who I will not check out because I'm just like, I know I don't actually like it. <laughs> anyway, well, that nice dour note. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Get in the comments. Tell me what you think. And until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one, these For now... Ciao, ciao.